Hello reformers and welcome back to a special feature of Conqueror's Blade. This video is kindly sponsored by the developers and if you would like to check out the game there is a link in the description. Now I have a little bit of news in regards to our sword militia here. As you can see they have actually advanced in level and we have one veterancy point to spend. Now of course the first point is just going to be in increasing slashing armor penetration. That's basically all we can spend it in. However as we go forward, you can actually customize them in a much greater way. So as you can see, increases damage inflicted on planes terrain. So if, if, for example, you're doing a lot of field battles, if you are wanting to increase your slash defense, make them much more into a, shall we say, um, kind of a centurion, kind of like a bit more difficult to kill kind of thing, then that, obviously we can go with that. Or you can just unlock the column formation, unlocking charge, increases block break, and so on and so forth. So there are a lot of different customizations to go for here. You can also change their attire if you want. You, you can literally do that. That's crazy. That is really, really cool. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the status is good. I can resupply them, which is going to cost some money. Ah, uh, can I... Can I actually do that? Yeah, I can actually do that. Okay, so how I don't even know how much money I have right now, but I don't really care because we're going to be playing a siege. Oh, it's actually going to take 27 seconds to get in. Bear in mind, this is the closed beta test, so I'm kind of surprised that it, it's, it's only going to take 27 seconds. It's probably going to be a little bit longer than that because the average usually is slightly, slightly longer, but... I don't really mind. I had a lot of fun in the previous siege that we played in the previous episode. If you haven't checked out that episode already, I'd highly recommend doing that because I go over much more of the game in that. It's an hour long, so it's it's pretty extensive. I try to I try to cover as much as I can about the game. I mean, it's just so incredibly in depth, and that's why it makes it very difficult to cover it in you know, a shorter episode. So, yes, hopefully hopefully, I did cover quite a bit of it, at least. One thing I do need to also mention is that there are many, many things you can do in the open world outside of the towns and various other things. Anyway, I'm actually going to be taking a whole bunch of units here, just in case I can switch to them. And we are going to be going to level 2 sword militia. I have level 2 sword militia. I do not have level 2 of anything else. There's a level 50 on our team. And a level 46. Wow, those guys have been playing like no one's business. Well, uh, we're defending, apparently. We're defending again. Ah, oh, well, I was actually hoping that maybe we could do a little something in regards to uh, maybe getting an attack siege, because we haven't done that before. Ooh, there's actually a lot of people from the same house here, and uh, that might actually give us a pretty decent shot at a victory here, because usually if people are kind of organized, then we're going to have a much greater greater shot at uh, at survival, at the very least. So we'll see what they decide to do, and uh, we'll see what we're actually up against as well. And it doesn't seem like we're up against too many high levels. I'm looking out for those musketeers. The musketeers usually are very strong, and they do have a couple on the enemy side. They have what? One, two, three, four. They have four musketeers. That's kind of harsh. How many do we have? Two. We have two, so they outnumber us in terms of musketeers. I'm hopeful that I'm actually going to be okay here. Generally, the thing that I try to do as a glaive user, in my opinion, what I am supposed to do as a glaive user is kill enemy common units, if you know what I mean. So not, I'm not trying to kill enemy heroes as such. I'm just trying to kill as many of their regular units as possible because I feel like that's my role in the in the mode. So uh, if, if that's not the case, then well, maybe that's just maybe that's just what I choose to do because I personally prefer playing PvE. But uh, generally, you know, sometimes I like a I like a little bit of fun in PvP as well. And uh, who knows? I mean, like in the previous episode, we did have some pretty spectacular PvP moments. So it's not all it's not all just killing regulars, is it? All right, the battle will begin in two seconds. I'm actually going to get off my mount almost immediately here because I'd like to figure out where we're actually going to go. Okay, so this is... Is this a different siege? I think this is a different siege than the one we were doing previously. There's actually... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to order my guys to go on the uh, go on the cannons here. As you can see, they're actually going to get on it and they're actually going to start... Uh, 
start doing doing things about it. Oh yeah, I, I might not want to do that actually. No, I'm, I'm actually not going to do that right now. Because if we do that right now, we're probably going to get murdered. Actually, does it matter? It doesn't really matter if we get murdered, to be honest. So even if I do, you know, end up dying, I just don't want to lose my, uh, my troops here. So I'm actually going to see where the enemy is coming. Okay, so they, they seem to be coming around here. So maybe if I... Maybe if I place my... Oh, yes. Uh, look at our team. Our team is doing absolutely fantastically. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place my forces round about here. Round about here should be pretty good. And then we're going to see if I can maybe just keep them in a relatively safe location. Because I really don't want them dying ahead of time. Because if they do, it's going to be pretty bad. Oh, there's an enemy already. How did he get here? Where is he going? But, uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> Apparently he's falling off the edge. That's absolutely fine with me. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, I'm going to tell my people to actually follow me again because I'm very far away from them now. It's probably not the best idea. Oh, yeah. That's well, that's one of my favorite siege weapons right there. It's a fantastic siege weapon. You are able to fire basically huge amounts of, well, basically what are fire arrows at the opponent in a hail of, uh, well, I, I would say bullets, but they're not actually bullets. Look, look, they're actually using that against us right there. It's the same kind of weapon. Yeah, it's the same kind of weapon right there. So it's pretty awesome in my opinion. Really, really like that weapon. And uh, maybe, can I actually, oh, oh, okay, never mind. Just lost a unit, great. Okay, so the right siege tower has reached the walls. As you can see, there it is. So we're gonna have to do something about that. But unfortunately, the enemy is actually a musketeer. So I'm not gonna be able to do too much to the musketeer unless they send in their troops. If they send in their troops, I should be okay. To help them out a little bit. Let's actually do that. Let's actually help out. Yes. Yes. There we go. That's what we need. There we go. We dealt some very nice damage to the opponent there. And we have now driven them back. Very nicely, in fact. Very, very proud of uh, how foolish or brave hmm, I was. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. I have no idea. But... Uh, Hopefully pretty decent. Anyway, ah, yes, we are now receiving more enemies coming in here. This is going to be a bit problematic. Oh, there's a siege. Oh, look at that. How clever. How clever of this fellow right here to place a siege weapon right at the tower. So that, you know what that means. Anyone that comes up there is going to get a face full of fiery arrows. It's going to be very, very painful indeed. Let's see if we can head over here and maybe help out in this direction. Well, uh, that actually did not go too badly. I was actually thinking that I might, uh, I might be able to kill one, but no, no such luck. Whoa, that was some damage. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, we're, we're actually not doing too badly, I gotta say, so far. I'm a bit, uh, oh dear, I've jinxed us, haven't I? I have jinxed us, you know what's going to happen now. They're going to completely overrun us, I would assume. That's probably what's going to happen. My people are taking quite a lot of damage, however, which is not good. Let's see if I can head over here and do some damage. Yes, there we go. Ah, I did some damage. Now let's get away. Let me get away from here if I can. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Very nice indeed. Okay, so I have 25 seconds until I can actually heal. So I'm going to have to be a bit careful here. Maybe I can go in and maybe use an ability or something. There's three musketeers in this siege tower. Three musketeers, that's a bit much. That is a bit much for me, <laughs> considering I'm a poor little melee unit. Oh dear, it's not gonna go well, is it? It's not gonna go well. So let's, uh, I'm actually almost healed. There we go. Let me use my healing ability right now. Oh yeah, yeah, there's actually, oh look at that, they're actually going in there. Our people are actually going in there and murdering them very nicely indeed. Okay, so let me actually just see if anyone else needs assistance around here. It doesn't seem like it. Seems like we're pretty good, actually. And I think, yeah, I think this is basically the only place where we're having any problems. I, I thought I thought our team looked really good, actually. Very nicely balanced, but obviously we do have those those people that are all in the same house, so it is obviously making quite a big difference. 
in the organization, but obviously everyone else is doing a fantastic job too because we all seem to be in appropriate places, you know? We're in the places that we need to... Oh, hello. There we go. Take him out. Okay, that was actually someone behind enemy lines right there. Oh, there's a couple of people as well. Hello there. Well, we can easily deal with these guys. This is exactly what my class is for, in my opinion. It's for killing these guys, making light work of them so that we don't have to worry about these guys actually sneaking up on us and doing some damage without us really knowing. There we go. Pretty good. Okay, so that's all done. We do have a couple of more people coming up here. So how did those guys get in, actually? Ah... They got in down there, by the looks of things. That's a bit problematic, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Well, I'm not entirely sure what we're supposed to do now. Maybe rush over here and see if we can help out. Yes, I, I should probably try and run away. Just a little bit, thank you. Just a little bit. Don't really want to take too much more damage than that. I'm trying to be a little bit more team focused here because in the previous episode in the siege that I did, I wasn't uh, necessarily knowing exactly what was going on because that was my first siege. That was my first siege ever. So now we actually do know a little bit more about what's going on and uh, hopefully we will be able to do something about that. Now I am just going to run by these fellows so that we can actually get over here and maybe try and be a little bit more defensive in this area, but uh, bear in mind I don't have any of my own units, which is a big problem. I'm loving the persistence, by the way. Do you see all these bodies all over the place? The persistence is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so they are actually coming up here. Let's see if I can do some damage. Uh, okay, well, that was it. That was, <laughs> that was not great, was it? I actually had no idea that there were people coming up from the, uh, from the other side and actually helping us out there. But uh, if I can just keep roaming between these areas, I think we should be absolutely fine. It's one of those things that we've got to be very, very careful of. Yes, there we go. Shatter the ranks. Shatter the ranks. Gotta say, I'm very much enjoying the fact that we have huge amounts of archer support. The archers are making a huge difference to uh, how much we're able to actually do here. So pretty happy with that. Oh, there's a musketeer. Try and kill the musketeer, please. Oh dear. I think I might be having some issues. Or not. <gasps> I'm alive! Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die very soon. Okay, let's just try and do some damage. Oh no. Okay, skills on cooldown, skills on cooldown, and I'm dead. Ah, I thought I was... <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. That was a very, very good attack from the enemy team right there. Because they were able to come in from the flank, basically. And uh, then, well, get behind us. And uh, I, I think I overextended. I overextended a little bit too much. If we can actually defend A just for a little bit longer, I think we will have a really, really good shot at actually doing this, but I don't know whether we will be able to, so I'm actually just going to spawn in again. Let's see if I can get up there. Our time is nearly up. The defenders are about to win. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Thank you. Uh, hmm. How do I get up there now? I think I need to go this way. Enemy is capturing point A. I'm going to try and rush there as quickly as possible. Come on, horsey. Come on, horsey. Uh, am I going the right way? I think I am. Ah, they captured it. Ah, that is sad. Okay, well, whatever the case, at least uh, at least we did a pretty decent job of, well, basically delaying them as much as possible. So there's basically about 30 seconds or so of time that is going to be, well, needed for us to defend a little bit additionally, because it's going to take them a lot longer to get... Is it going to take them a lot longer? Maybe it's not. I don't know, but it's going to take them a bit of time to get past all of these. Because these are archers right here. I'm actually going to place my forces right here, and we're going to tell them to defend. Because the archers are going to be absolutely fantastic at that. Oh, 
All right, so I'm actually riding past point C at the moment, and uh, everything seems absolutely fine. Everything seems fine at C, and I believe everything's fine at B as well. So, as you can see, the uh, enemies that actually eliminated me beforehand, they have actually made their way up the tower here. But that's not actually going to make too much difference, I don't think. I think we're going to be able to do this, no problem at all. I'm going to head in here, try and do as much damage as I can, and then I'm going to try and get out if I possibly can do that. That would be nice. There we go. Okay, maybe I can get out. Yes, there we go. All right, so I, I'm actually out of here now. That's great, and maybe we can eliminate the last guy. Yes, very nice. Very good work, everyone. And, uh, oh, they've got archers. These are mine. Yes. There we go. You can see how much damage I'm actually able to deal with the glaive against regular units. And I'm not actually even that bad against actual heroes. But, you know, generally I would say that the glaive is much better at killing multiple units at once. And I have a lot more fun actually seeing all those numbers just appearing on the screen. It's really, really fun to see that. Obviously, it's really, really enjoyable to do a couple of duels as well. We did have a couple of those previously, so that's pretty nice. And maybe, if I'm able, I would like to maybe do some damage here, because there's only one second remaining. Ah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was a very, very nice victory right there. And we gained a pretty decent amount of experience from that. I killed two heroes. I had two hero deaths. I had six assists. Not too bad. 125 troops killed and uh, as you can see they, they actually do give you a breakdown of what your units are actually capable of doing as well unfortunately i did lose a huge amount of my own troops but that's okay that's all right and as you can see we do have a bit of a breakdown here of the mvp and uh, i would definitely say that i did okay i, I you know I, I did all right you know not not too uh, <laughs> not too impressive but 93 I think that's the most on our team. Yeah, I killed I killed the most because we're a Glaive user. You know, Glaive users are pretty decent at that. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.